Hi everybody. I started working on these last night and I'm finishing them up today. It um I was on Blitzy. Um I don't know if you have a Blitzy if you're overseas or not, but here in the States there's this company called Blitzy. Um and they have craft stuff on there um for like sale. The com I don't know the main companies sell to them a discount and they pass the discount on to us. I I'm not sure exactly how it works. But they have a lot of different stuff every day. And one of the things I saw in there yesterday was Petaloo flowers. And I went in there to look and see what they had. And they had these butterflies that I fell in love with. And I thought, I'm going to try and make some of these um, on my own. Um, I used the punches I had. I don't even, I'm not even sure if any of the shapes that I have are like theirs or not. But I used the punches that I had, and this is for a personal project for our home. I'm going to put it in the bathroom. Um, our walls are like a, they're not exactly bright white, but they're like a bright, like cream, a real light, like cream color. It's almost white. And, but our shower curtain is a very pretty green with different tones of green running in it, but it's a light green. So, um... I tried to incorporate, I'll have more green butterflies in there than anything. And I actually stuck them on my black um, embossing pad because I wanted to see what it looked like. Um, actually, I'm going to use a wooden, like, wooden frame. And um, I think I'm actually going to paint it black because the walls are so white color. And just give it a little different color, you know, in the bathroom. And all I did was take... Um, cardstock and wait a minute no smoke no no what are you doing oh my god hold on people I'm sorry where did this come from okay go get away from the camera smoke don't hit the camera my dog thinks this is a chew toy and I'm not even sure where it came from you can't have a light bulb, buddy. No, I'm sorry. No, now go. Now you're going to hit the camera. Okay, go lay down. Go. Go. You're not going out right now. It's not time to go out. Okay. I have no idea where I was at. Um, Petaloo Flowers, they had like one side was spritz of color and the other side wasn't. That's what drawed me to it. I thought that was fan fantastic. And then their body on there was different. Their, now, I couldn't um, replicate the, their body. Um, and, and the more I thought about it today, I'm wondering if it might have been made out of thread. I'm not sure. Um, but their body shape on their butterflies was shaped like a moss body is what it reminded me of. And I couldn't do that with the paper. So I just took cardstock and I stamped it with my favorite script stamp. And then, um, after I got it um, all stamped out, I ran them through the die cut. I have three or four different butterflies, dies, and punches, and, um, so I used those. And, like, this butterfly here, can you see that? That's, um, those are Sizzix. These are all Sizzix. I'm pretty sure these are all, yeah, they are. These are all Sizzix except for my tiny ones. That's a um, EK Success Punch. And then, let me see what I do. After I got them cut out, that's when I colored them, then let them dry, then shimmer mist them, um, let them dry again, and that's when I, I like mine double layered. I just think it gives them more body. And, um... I glued my things. Some of them they're glued in between. Some they're glued on the back. And then for the body, I just took um, a thin, cut down my cardstock that I had left over, that I was stamped on, and cut it down to a smaller piece, a smaller strip, and just rolled it pretty tight, and then glued it on there. And like these, I crinkled them while they were still wet from the glimmer mist. So. Um, I think I want to get one of them paper crimpers. I think these would have looked pretty um, if the paper would have actually been crimped. So, um, this one I love. These I love. Can you see that? And 
these turned out very very nice these I did a couple different ways which it's all I sprayed my background because I wanted my like when I knew I was doing them two-tone like that only gonna spray half of them um, after I stamped my cardstock I um, sprayed it with Lindsay stamp gang um, bottle shore sand and the Lindsay's that I have these are the first colors that I've ever bought and um, this was back in the spring and I brought I bought the flat Fabio's um, just because I like the color of of the things that I bought so um, but I sprayed my paper this makes paper look old and I like that and that is what I wanted with I knew I was doing these two tones and so um, some of the brown comes comes through on these where I these I doubled tripled mist and stuff and some of the browns came you know come through on it and I really like that so um and then I just used gems little glue on gems for them see this one um then I have more gems I tried to make them all different I tried to make them all different so and but yeah I really like these with the bodies those are I just thought those are really interesting oh he's missing his antennas huh I gotta fix them and then um these and this one these now I I don't know if you can tell it but um they're embossed I I, I embossed them instead of just stamping and I use Lindsay stamp gang gang Midnight Copper, and oh my gosh, I love it. it they're, it's a beautiful, beautiful, I mean, it doesn't look the same, quite the same color as the bottle, but it is a beautiful color. And then, um, the thing about this, now, I did these slightly different than I did these. I knew I was going to emboss them, so I did a whole different cardstock, and I went ahead and stamped and embossed them. Then I put, um my South Shore sand spray on top of the paper because I still wanted that look to them. Well, um, the thing is, is when I did that, and, and I'm not sure why, but when I did that, when I sprayed it, um, it really made that um, embossing powder just sparkle. I, it, I mean, it really made the embossing powder sparkle. And this doesn't, um, Moon Shadow, not moon shadow. Flat Fabios do not have any kind of um, shimmer in them. They're they're just a color with a dye in it. You know, the water with a dye in it. Um, so I'm not sure why it made this particular embossing powder shine like that. But boy, I I loved it. I will do that a lot more with several other things too. So I don't. I think I'm gonna just leave these be um, because I like it. This I tried to, I left B, um, it's got the flat short sands on it, but I use um, a glitter glue and absolutely hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it, it at least for this project. Um, this looks like something I would do for my granddaughter or something, and I think that these butterflies look more elegant. I just don't think that fits in with this project. So, I will put, I, I won't throw it away. I won't waste it. I will save it. And there may be something else down the road that this will be perfect for. But with this project, they're not. So, um, yeah, I did a couple of those. And then my little EK Success Punches. I love these little butterflies. They're hard for me to make just because my fingers get stiff. But to me, they're worth the time to take and do it. Because they make great little fillers. Watch out, lady. Don't bump the thing. Honey. Go. Go lay down. And, um, so, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them that color. Or, I was actually thinking about painting them, um, a gold shimmer. I have some gold shimmer paint. Can't remember what it's called. I was thinking about painting them that color. But I'm not sure how gold would m mesh with the rest of them. What do you guys think? I'd appreciate any input. And then, um... This kind I did. Now, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but um, it started out with the first papers that I punched. 
but I covered it in um, glitter. I used some kind of glue, art glitter glue or something, and then used Martha Stewart's um, fine glitter on it. And to be honest, I mean, it's beautiful. It glitters real nice, but it hid a lot of the writing. And that's what I liked about this so much was the writing on it. So I won't be using that because it just, it took away what I really wanted for the project. So you guys are probably all bored. <laughs> but um, yeah. That's what I'm working on for right now is um, butterflies. So, um, everybody have a great day. I hope you're all crafting away or doing whatever. And if anybody has any suggestions or anything, let me know. If um, anybody, which I doubt, you know, anybody would need a tutorial. But if somebody would like a tutorial on how I did, on how I did mine, um, let me know. I don't mind to share what I've done. So, um, see y'all later. Bye, guys.